Mashana Kali represents represents the time of dissolution when the whole universe has been destroyed and dissolved. Okay, so Kali is the principle of time, and uh, you know her uh, uh, her open hair represents her complete freedom. You know, generally women are not allowed to leave their hair open. Hair mm -hmm. is such a contentious topic for women, right? Yeah. So you plait your hair when you are a young person. Then mm -hmm. in our parents or grandparents' generation, once you're married, you wear a wear a bun. Then you mm -hmm. shave off your hair when you're um, when you become okay. a widow. So those so hair is a Hair is a, you know, it uh, it uh, it it is a symbolism for how uh, you are limited by certain boundaries. Mm -hmm. That's what hair represents. So uh, by letting her hair loose, it represents her total freedom. And you know, she will have fifty heads, severed uh -huh. heads. Uh -huh. So fifty heads is uh, fifty is the number of alphabets, Sanskrit alphabets. So when you say uh, when you talk about creation no the first created entity is supposed to be sound so the severed head represents the potential for next creation so although the heads are severed and hanging around the head this is potentially available for next creation the next creation will begin with this sound and then the hand represents you know you do all actions with your hand hand represents kriya shakti so all our karmas no are represented by hands so the severed hands represent that all these karmas have become dormant now but they will come back again so these hands represent the dormant nature of karma and then you know shiva is the consciousness principle mm -hmm. and shiva has cannot do anything without his shi so mm -hmm. shiva is equal to shava without shakti but at the same time shakti cannot function unless she is established in shiva so her feet is on shiva saying all her functioning power comes from shiva but shiva himself has the, is useless without her so it represents a symbiotic relationship between shiva and shakti and more than anything what is most beautiful about this kali what you will miss about this kali are her two hands you know mm -hmm. one will be in abhaya mudra and one will be in varada mudra mm -hmm. you must have seen these mudras abhaya mudra means don't be afraid mm -hmm. be fearless i am there with you so you have nothing to be afraid of this is abhaya mudra varada mudra is the uh, uh, hand for giving boons whatever you see i'll give you so even though she is so fierce she is holding these mudras reminding us that she is after all a mother so if you really know me you will know that i am your mother and i'm here to protect you so even in that fierce form they have given her these two mudras uh, so this smashana kali is an amazing amazing work of art work of beauty and work of philosophy